It's 6 a.m. in Cape Town's southern suburbs. The Mias are having breakfast together, a rare occasion for the busy family. One thing that's always present at the breakfast table, electronic devices. What other parents might ban is actually encouraged in the Mia household. We're very techy. So I can't... I don't imagine myself without a phone. We do our family arrangements over Google. So we do Google meet, um, meetings. Baratang Mia lives and breathes IT. The South African is the founder of Girl Hype, an organization that teaches coding to underprivileged girls. Her youngest daughter, Tato, is still in school. The rest of the family is involved in the business. Baratang hurries to her office, a co-working space in Woodstock, Cape Town's creative hub. On the schedule this morning is a meeting with her daughter, Toko. They discuss the new curriculum for Girl Hype. The aim of the organisation is to bring more women into STEM careers. STEM is short for science, technology, engineering and mathematics. Baratang is passionate about coding. Someone taught me how to code in about an hour. I realised, beautiful, this is a skill that everybody should learn, every child. And having been on the feminist side, I thought, you know what, it's, I should focus on what I know, which is girls. Baratang founded Girl Hype in 2003, after graduating from the course. Toko was one of her first students. She was 10 at the time and accompanied her mother to all her coding classes. I coded my first website when I was 11, and um, it was in HTML. And from there, I was hooked. This is what I want to do. This is what I want to be in. And I've been doing that and pursuing that little girl since then. Today, Toko studies journalism and works as an ambassador and administrator for Girl Hype alongside her mother. It's truly a family affair. Baratang's son, Libo, runs his business from the same workspace in Woodstock. The 20-year-old dropped out of school at age 16. Baratang homeschooled him to become a software developer. Today, he runs his own coding school focused on unemployed youth in the townships. Libo doesn't agree with the new draft curriculum of Girl Hype, but he's learned to separate work from family life. If we have work issues, it's work issues. And then at home, she's mom. I get annoyed with my mother for doing mom thing. It's the same normal life relationship. It's just at work, we're at work. No, no, you, you stay Baratang here. appreciates her son's input. We have to be professional around each other. So I don't, when, I, when he's advising me, I totally forget he's my son. I'm thinking, oh, these are the questions that other people will ask. Early in the afternoon, Baratang heads out of the city towards the Philippi Township. Here at a community centre, she teaches one of her Girl Hype coding classes. In total, Girl Hype provides after school lessons to six township schools, funded by donations and joint ventures with tech companies. On average, 500 girls a year learn how to code through Girl Hype. Today, Baratang is teaching HTML. She wants to provide the girls with job opportunities. It's not always an easy venture. We always have to convince the girls that coding will change their lives. And it's purely because there isn't enough role models. And it's not something they can see end results very quick. So that's why we exist, because we want to produce lots of women in the developing side, which is very technical. And once we have lots of girls who can develop and they see end results quick, then I think it will be easy for us to convince them. 16-year-old Lacona is already convinced. When you use HTML, you just write a few lines of code and then your results, it's something like huge, like a website. Baratang's workday has come to an end and she heads out into nature. The social entrepreneur is an avid hiker. Her cell phone stays tucked away for the moment. The mountains around Cape Town are her refuge from the busy tech world. It gives me that spiritual balance and I've, I 
take one step at a time to get to the top. Baratang has an ambitious goal to teach 200,000 girls by 2020.